you gulp and turn around, swiftly counting and turning again. As you gasp out, that's the last thing you do. One, two, three, one, two, three. Did y'all see that? I got so scared that I hit my damn desk. Okay, okay. Yo, yo, yo! What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Wingate TV. I am back here with Do Not, and I repeat, Do Not Take This Cat Home. Last time we did this, this cat was pretty interesting. It's safe to say that we can't trust anything this motherfucker does, right? It looks all innocent, but obviously that's not the case here. Them two and what, what endings do we get? We got only two endings last time, which is the first one, which everybody gets, and then this one down here, Photo Bomber. You really nailed your good side on this one. They think they funny, but as y'all can see up here, we got freaking 38 more endings to go through. So we might get all of them today. We might not, but might as well start now. Let's do this. All right, we're at the first option take the cat home or do not <sighs> I was just thinking about how this game might get more and more crazy scares me because it scared me last time we're gonna start with do not take the cat home sadly as cute as this cat is dot 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 you never take this thing home with you who is that talking? We never figured that out of who this is. Like, why is it little text and then there's a regular text? That must be someone else talking. I don't know. Dot, dot, dot. You just can't take it home with you. You're a responsible adult. But the cat's sitting there staring at me, thinking I'm going to take it with them. But let me tell you something. You ain't fooling me today. You are with rent and bills to pay for. Not to mention you need to buy food and survive too. There's no way you could care for a cat long term, right? You could barely afford this little outing on your day off. As he's still meowing at me. That ain't gonna sway me. Dot dot dot. What to do? Alright, what do we do? What is this shit? What is that? What is, what is that? <sighs> Alright, we got lots of options here. We could leave the damn cat, feed it, or play with it. You know what? Let's give it some love. We can't take it home, but we might as well play with it. Oh, you just want a little attention, don't you? Yeah, that's all. That's all this motherfucker wants. The poor thing must be bored sitting in that box all day. You're not sure what you're much of an interesting companion, but you're willing to do your best. There's got to be something you can entertain a little critter with. Why are we speaking in like... Why can't we speak like I or something like that? Like, we're just speaking you, you, like someone else is narrating for us. I don't like that. But what? Check pockets. I think last time... Did we check the pockets? Yeah, last time we checked the pockets and that's when we had the phone and we took the... Uh, that's where we took the pictures. So, look around the area or buy a toy. Let's buy a toy. Even though we said we couldn't afford shit, but we're doing it anyway. After being out in this alley all alone for who, who knows how long, you personally think about your furry friend deserves something special. I'll be back, okay? Meow? <laughs> He's like, will you? You quickly leave the alley and rush to the nearby pet store. You browse through all the different toys for cats. There are so many to choose from. Plush and bright colored and scented with catnip. But you realize that most of the toys aren't meant for a cat to play with alone. You can't stay in the alley playing forever. And you can't exactly afford to get another cat as a playmate. We could barely afford this shit. Dot dot dot. Another. That's it. You know exactly what to get now. After a quick and successful search of the store, you make your purchase and rush back to the alley, eager to show off your find. 
What did we find? I'm curious my damn self. I'm back! Now. The alley feels even gloomier after spending time in direct sunlight. It makes you feel that much prouder of your gift. You skip over to the cat and dig in the store's plastic bag. I've got something for you. The cat looking so confused. The cat leans up, curious at the bag's contents. Dot dot dot. Wait, what do we get this motherfucker? You pull out your gift to the cat. Oh, ta-da! Got him a little plushie. It's a small cat plushie. The plushie is light orange green color with burnt sepia stripes, making it resemble a tabby a cat. Ugh, making it resemble a tabby cat. The synthetic fur is soft, but not unrealistically so. And the large eyes are a pale green, more subsided than what you would expect it for a toy. There's no denying it's just a plushie, but the thoughtful details still make it almost uncanny to the real thing. Dot dot dot. Which makes it perfect for this damn cat. A companion for it. And one you could actually afford, surprisingly. Win win. He's still meowing. That's that's not all. You give the plushie a small squeeze and... Oh, okay. I was wondering what it was going to do. I don't... The, the cat is quiet. Does it like it? The cat looks... Unimpressed. The cat don't like this shit. I bought this tour for you. You're going to like it. Huh. Well... You think it's cute. Guess your purchase wasn't so successful after all. Out of options and lower on cash, you awkwardly place the plushie in the box next to the cat. You get up and turn to leave. You're a few steps away when you hear electronic meow behind you. Meow. Wait, we thought he was unimpressed, but they're playing with it. Huh? Right? Oh, hell no. Oh, hex no. You turn to see the plushie on the ground next to the box. How is it making that sound when you never moved? You never touched it. Uh-uh. That this ain't good. The cat is watching you closely. Staring. Pick up plushie or leave. I'm leaving. You got your toy. I don't need to do nothing else. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. We're both not saying shit. Ungrateful little monster. <laughs> I mean, he did look unimpressed, so I mean, I wouldn't go that far to say ungrateful, but still. You huff and anoints. You're welcome, bitch. That's what you should say. Shaking your head, you turn to leave once again. Oh! Shoot, what the freak? There was no sound, but I saw. Ah! When a sharp pain lenses up your arm. That cat really scratched me. And he's scratching me again. Ah! Playing out. You grab at your arm only for it to... No, this bitch didn't rip my arm off. Huh? Fall off. Now, I don't know about you, but... I'm a human and I don't think there's cotton coming out of my arm. So, what? what's the real story here? Your arm just falls right off. You stare in shock at your severed limb on the ground. Gathering your courage, you turn to look at where your arm had once connected to the rest of you, only to see... Exactly, cotton. Not blood, it's... Yeah, like I said, cotton. I knew what it looked like. But that doesn't make sense. Touching it, the stump doesn't even hurt. But you felt the pain, which is weird. That is... Okay. Now your other arm is gone. <laughs> Until the same thing happens to your other arm. Okay, just, she, the cat is ripping us apart. Ah! Alright! What the freak? Yeah, we're dead. Ah! You fall when both of your legs succumb to the same nonsensical fate. Crying out the agony that comes and goes like it never happened. 
as if you're not cur currently laying on the dirty ground of an alley, limbless. What in the world is going on? You can't make sense of it. You can't think straight. Dot, dot, dot. Dot. Oh. No music, no nothing. The pain has receded, leaving you with a strangely empty pit in your stomach. Considering you still have a stomach and it wasn't replaced with. Dot, dot, dot. As you lay back, helpless and still in shock, staring at the sky. Oh. The cat's face appears in your line of vision. I knew it was your dumb ass. Dot, dot, dot. The cat's just looking at me. Okay, so I think we're the freaking toy. It lunges at your torso and starts biting and clawing into your chest like you're a true toy. Why, though? Why? It doesn't hurt anymore. You feel like it should, though. You're not sure if you're glad that it doesn't? Dot, dot, dot. I mean, eventually, you feel the cat pull something out of you. My brain? A small doll that looks very, very familiar. It's hard to tell, but... That doll is... That's you! Huh? How the heck did he pull you out of... Out of you? Huh? Isn't it? I mean, that's not me. That's not the way I look, but... I guess the person we are... Are bald as shit. The cat hops off you and heads back to the box with its prize. At least you think so. Everything's... Too dark... To tell. Dot, dot, dot. You wake up to find you can't move an inch. Huh? And then, d d don't act like I don't see that plushie sitting right next to the damn cat. You can't look around. You can't even breathe. How are we talking? Though none of these realizations seem to be a problem. All you can see is the face of a familiar looking cat curled around you, purring in its sleep. As it's purring, really. For some reason, this doesn't bother you, though. You're not sure why you feel like it should. Why are we talking like we're... I guess we're not a human anymore. You try to latch on to thoughts in your head that feel like memories of another life. Another time. Another you. But the thoughts slip away like forgotten dreams. Dot, dot. So we're not going to say anything about that doll that's right next to him. Oh well. That's fine, isn't it? You're just a doll, after all. So, what? So we, so we were a doll, actually. What the freak is happening? And a doll's role isn't to have silly thoughts or to remember unimportant things, but to be a companion. I'm so confused on how the hell we turned ourselves into a doll into a doll after giving the cat a doll that's still sitting right the fuck there and judging from the cat's contented purring you seem to be performing your role perfectly you are filled with an overwhelmingly strong sense of pride at this fact I, and so you too feel content dot 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 Ending 35, cotton-headed. Oh my gosh. So after giving this bitch a freaking toy, we ended up being the toy. How the hell does that happen? Alright, this time, I'm going to see what happens when we pick up the plushie. Since you want to be inconsiderate, and you turn me into a plushie if I leave it there. See what happens when I pick this bitch up, since you ain't worried about him anyway. You sigh. And go over to pick up the stuffed toy. He gonna bite me, ain't he? You really do just want attention, don't you? Yeah, you don't want that. I see. You smiling. You hold up the cat doll, examining it a little. Dot, dot, dot. It looks a little different. What do you mean? It looks fine to me. What do you mean it looks different? Did y'all see that shit? 
ain't no way a freaking dog is supposed to turn their eyes towards you. All right. So what I've learned about this cat is they could turn you into a doll and then they could turn a doll into a living thing because <clears throat> all right you know what did it just look at you meow. and meow after that oh we're dead oh we're dead da, da, da. Meow. 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 oh oh hell no oh. All right, all right. You ain't got to do the low. You ain't got to do the low meowing. And it got teeth. We're dead. Like I thought. We're. It seems like we die all the time. The plushie somehow opens its sewn on mouth before biting onto your wrist. Ah, stop. This music though. Hey, I gotta take a moment since this is like you know really bad. A hey, doll, get off, fall out of my hands before I punch you in the bands. Try. You try flinging it off, but its grip on you is as strong as it drinks your blood, ravenous and frantic. Oh, we're dead. You hit it against concrete walls of the alley. Oh, it's not it's not letting go. You tried to tear the sturdy fabric, now it's sturdy fabric. Now nah. <laughs> But as you, but try as you might, you can't seem to hurt it or make it stop. It's just a toy after all. That's what you think. A toy doesn't do that shit. Eventually, you start to feel faint. Enough to collapse to your knees and in defeat. And it looks at me. The stuffed doll is drinking more calmly now. As if its previous aggression had been a, a mere reaction to your desperation. How the fuck is that a, a mere reaction? That doesn't make sense. It seems satisfied that you're no longer putting up a fight. Bruh, you just wanted me to let you do this shit? That ain't fucking fair. You think you blacked out for a second. Because though you're still sitting next still sitting next time you're conscious, your eyes are closed. You you feel so weak. We let a fucking electronic cat drink our blood. Yeah. You have to use all your strength just to pry open your eyes, and when you do, he's still there, ain't he? Yep. Yep. Wait, but he looks like a freaking you see a a kitten. So he actually really turned into a kitten. It's fur, a familiar orange cream with burnt sepa stripes. Dot dot dot. It's lapping at your wrist. Don't don't look up. Oh, he looked up. Oh, he looked up. The cat the kitten lifts his head and looks at you with piercing pale green eyes. I don't know how the hell you It meows at you with a high squeaky pitch. Mouth covered in blood. How are we still alive at this point? Dot dot dot. It it be it would be downright adorable if you weren't about to die from the blood loss. Yeah, that cat trying to look innocent like he's not the reason why. And then you pick up. The cat strolls into your line of vision and picks the kitten up. Why are you picking the kitten up like it's a toy when it just literally just took a chomp at our wrist how the hell is that even possible it gives you an indecipherable look before turning away the cat carries the kitten back to the box and starts to carefully and dutifully clean it huh and then now you're purring dot 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 you sway and fine you can't write yourself before falling onto the ground it would seem that the that in the end, you did get a cat the cat a playmate after all. A playmate that kills. Ending 34. Living doll. Bro. So what I'm trying to what I'm noticing is this cat definitely wants us dead. Because every time 
we've been here, every time we've done something, we've died. Every single time. So this cat literally just doesn't like us. That's what I'm getting from this shit. Alright, this is the last option for if we don't take the cat home. Because I'm pretty sure we already checked the pockets. So I don't think we have to do that again. So look around the area. You search around. But there's really nothing in the alley that looks interesting enough for the cat to play with. So maybe... How about a game? He's looking at you like, how is he going to play a game when he can't barely understand your ass? You decide on the game you've known since childhood. Red light, green light. How the hell are you going to play that with a cat? With any animal, for that matter. Teaching the cat how to play might be a bit of a challenge, uh, you think? But you get the feeling that the feline's natural hunting instincts will help it along. Hunting instincts? You want it to hunt you. When cats hunt, they playing for keeps, which means your ass gonna be dead after that. You walk to the entrance of the alley, the cat meowing at you. Like, it wants you to come back. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. You exaggerate your movements, covering your eyes with your hands, and turn around. One, two, three, dot, dot. Dot. Red light. You spin around. That bitch still in the box, ain't he? <laughs> you do not know what you're doing. The cat hasn't left the box, tilting his head at you in curious confusion. That means he's trying to figure out what the fuck you're on. Try something else or keep playing. We went this far. Might as well try to see if he even gets it. You try again. This time, you go a bit slower. One. We need to make sure you understand this since you're so smart. Two. Dot, 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 dot. Three. Dot, dot, dot. Red light! He's still in that box, ain't he? When you turn around this time. Oh. The cat is out of the box. He caught on. He caught on. I don't think this is going to go well. I don't think this is going to go well. He caught on. That that might seem all cute. The cat freezes under your stare as if it thinks you can't see it if it doesn't move. Well, that's a very bad thing to think. Why would you think I can't see you? This ain't, it ain't dark out here. So cute. That cat is kind of cute though. I ain't going to lie. Satisfied that the cat is getting the hang of the game, you turn again. Speeding back up. One, two, three. Red light. He gonna be closer, right? He gonna be closer. You turn around. Oh, 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 that's not good. If an animal is looking intensely at you, get ready to fight or be in a hospital or be on your deathbed. Whichever one. Dot, dot, dot. Well, at least it's having fun. You think? You think that. He gonna turn around again. You turn again. Dot, dot, dot. And you feel a sudden chill run down your spine. And that, my friends, is where he fucked up. If you somehow feel a sudden chill run down your spine after seeing someone get closer and closer to you, I don't care if it's an animal, an insect, you already know to get out of there. What, like, what is your next move? I don't, I don't think anything's good from you just still standing here playing this damn game. Dot, dot, dot. Don't turn around. He go, you feel silly. But you can't help counting just a little faster this time. Yeah, let's speed this up. One, two, three, red light. Where's where's this bitch? Rolling around after saying red light. Where is he? You look at the cat. Where is he? Oh, 
it's halfway down the alley closer to you now. But, oh, it's as if the perspective of what you're seeing is off somehow. Doesn't the cat look a little bigger? How the fuck does bitch get bigger? It's people's are thin slits now. Uh-oh. Y'all hear that heart beating shit? This ain't, this ain't good. We about to die. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Something. Something's not right. Rayon? Yeah, something's definitely not right. The cat meows at you again, but it sounds much deeper than earlier. It's crouched down, as if poised to lunge forward. Yeah, you're, you're dead. Your breath shudders a little as your heart starts to race. Your foot instinctively shifts back. Oh, oh, we're dead. Oh, what? Ew. You see that bitch's... Look at his face. Oh, we're dead. You freeze immediately. The cat looks... Impatient. It... It wants to keep playing. Of course it does. And I bet your dumb ass will do it. But... Dot, dot, dot. You gulp and turn around. Swiftly counting and turning again as you gasp out. That's the last thing you do. One, two, three, four, four. <laughs> Did y'all see that? I got so scared that I hit my damn desk. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. So that just happened. How y'all doing? <laughs> All right. Ooh. That was scary as shit. I ain't gonna lie. Where is he? The ground shakes as you roll back around. Where is he? To find yourself staring at a long surface of black fur. This bitch is right in our face. But he must be bigger if we're only seeing black fur. Oh, shoot. You slowly look up. And up. Oh, hell no. And up. How far is bitch gonna look up? How tall is he? Dot, dot, dot. Ew. And it's moving. Okay. To see a giant, shadowy figure leering down from his position hunched over you. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do in a situation when this happens? Fangs dripping with saliva. Claws crushing into concrete walls of the alley. Its glowing eyes are unblinking as they look back at you. I thought this was just a cat. How the hell can a cat change his freaking body shape? You're a shapeshifter? Cause that is some that is some jack shit right now I'm seeing. The cat waiting for your next turn. But it's so close. If you turn around now, you pretty much can call your family and tell them you're dead. You're about to die. Dot, dot, dot. You don't give me the option. You don't want to play anymore. I bet you what now. <laughs> hey, I told you don't give me this option. Run or back up run or back up technically what's the difference well if you run you're gonna turn your back so I guess that's the difference let's try to back up even though I don't think any of these shits gonna work anyway but at least if you back up you're still looking at him he's not getting out of your sight that's the one thing you never do if an enemy's right there never lose sight of him or her or whoever the fuck don't lose sight of it we're gonna back up it's probably not going to work though. Keeping your eyes trained on the giant looming over you, you take a step back. <laughs> no. That's cheating. How the hell is that? You have the power to shape yourself into a big ass monster, and you're going to call what I do cheating because I backed up, did the smart thing? How the hell is that cheating? Cause you, I didn't turn around like you want me to. Well, bitch, let me tell you something. I don't care. 
Run, run, restore backup exe. Oh, you you fucking with my game. I hate when y'all fuck with my game like this. How many games have I played where y'all fuck up my laptop? What are you doing? Let, let's try that one. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I gotta spell some shit out. Ooh, I'm I'm slow. Hold on. They really letting us type this? Oh, oh no, it, we're timed. We're timed. This shit is literally back up. Oh, we ain't stupid. Let's do this. We backing the hell up. Talking about cheating, bitch. Come on, back up. Come on, I'm I'm kind of scared. That's why I'm going so slow. Back up. Yeah, let's do that. What you got for now, bitch? What are you doing? Stop! You'll break everything. <laughs> you don't like what I'm doing? Stop fucking with my game. Back up. Look at him. The cat stares as you keep contact, keep eye contact, <laughs> and back up. You step back, and back, and we're probably still dead anyway. And as you take one more step back out of the alley, dot dot dot, we're dead anyway, right? Huh? Dot dot dot. Go home. Oh, we're fucked. It's giving us options with the little uh, messed up text. Oh, we're fucked. Error. What the fuck you mean, error? Error. Okay. I got I got it now. Oh, shoot. It's changing our background stuff. Error. How many times are you going to say error? I broke the game, didn't I? Error. I broke the game. Okay, I get an error. You shouldn't have gave me the option. That's your fault. Don't get mad at me because I'm smart. The world outside the alley seems to be broken. What exactly did you do? <laughs> Yo, I broke some shit. Ending 33. Error frown. That's an ending? What the freak? How the hell is that an option? How how the hell is that an ending? Because I, we didn't die, but we also, I don't know what happened. Like, we tried to, I, I'm confused. Really confused right now. Alright, now I know y'all all want to see what happens when I run and do the dumb thing. I know y'all want to see that. I know y'all want to see. We're obviously going to die if we run. You see? I know y'all want to see the other option because then I have y'all thinking. Obviously, you die. You don't turn around on a freaking enemy that's in your freaking line of sight. And you know they're chasing you. You don't even finish turning around before claws grip your torso. Read those words correctly. You don't even finish turning around. That's why you don't turn around. Digging in and piercing the soft flesh of your stomach with ease. As you're lifted into drooling, gaping jaws above you. You can't help but think that there must have been another way out of this. Yeah, there was. Like, anybody could think that, oh, if there's something right there by you, don't turn around. Like, it's a, it takes more time to turn around than back up. Just think about that. But pointless regrets are pretty typical for you. Aren't they? <laughs> no. Ending 32, Fear Quitter. Oh boy. This game is getting way too serious now. I can't deal with this shit, man. Okay, this is the photo bomb. This is the beginning of that photo bomb one I did last time. I think last time I freaking got out of the alley. And then that's when he kept texting me with the, the freaking messed up images. Let's try and see if we can hang out and do something else. Dot, dot, dot. Well... I guess I could stay a little longer. And he's happy again. But that probably... But now what to do? Is it going to take me back to... Meow? Oh, it's taking me back to that. Oh, I should have known. Let's try to feed this bitch. If we haven't done it already. 
The cat must be hungry, right? You can't imagine that it's had much to eat if it's so attached to the box that it's in. Though, it doesn't seem exactly seem malnourished either. Surely it must have left the box to search for food then. Dot, dot, dot. For some reason, something in the back of your mind tells you that's not the case. And not to think on it any further. Dot, dot, dot. Well, either way, you can't exactly enjoy your day without knowing you left it behind a hungry cat. Especially when you could have done something to help. So... What to do about the hungry kitty? It, 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 hold on. I didn't know it was going to take me back to looking around the area and shit again. You know what, let's check the pockets. You dig into your pockets. Not very helpful, yeah, we did this. We know. In your right pocket, is a bar of chocolate. You find a chocolate bar? Is it? Nope, it's not even expired. Wait, 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 wait. Cats can't eat chocolate, right? I know damn well dogs can't, but can cats eat? No. You're about to offer it to the cat. When suddenly, you're hit with the guilt as you remember something gut curling. Dot, dot, dot. Chocolate is toxic to cats. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my gosh, I'm so... You resist the urge to vomit at your near mistake. You feel so guilty, you throw away the chocolate bar away into a nearby trash can. An almost cat killer doesn't deserve chocolate. You go back to the cat, barely able to stand this innocently obvious, I mean, innocently oblivious expression. The cat is not even, the cat's like, why'd you throw that away? I could have eaten that. No, you can't eat, you can't eat that. You can't eat that. It doesn't even know that you almost... Dot, dot, dot. I, I'm so sorry. I, I don't even know what to say. The cat doesn't know what you're talking about. Dot, dot, dot. You're a horrible person. Y you know what? S stay there. I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> the cat still. You leave the alley. Dot, dot, dot. And you return with a whole fish you bought at a nearby grocery shop. It was a bit pricey. But it was the least you could do. I gotta I got figure out who's talking. The cat eagerly accepts your offering, munching happily at the fish after you place it in the box. Are you happy now, bitch? I'm calling you a bitch because I know what you're about. Like, you really are something else. You're like bad luck because all this shit keeps happening to me. Probably because of you. You want to smile at the sight, but you just feel so... Awful. S sorry again. The cat seemingly pays you no mind as you slip back out of the alley. Yeah, okay, it's gonna notice that I'm gone. Not feeling like you deserve a peaceful day out, you decide to just head back home. Dot dot dot. Oh. That, don't tell me that fucking cat followed me. Wouldn't be surprised, you know what? I wouldn't be. Why is the heart beating? What the hell? That's the same cat that looked like the freaking plushie that turned into it. That, so that's it. That's what actually killed me, that bitch. On the way home, you notice more cats than usual watching you from their hiding spots. Uh-oh. Why? But you try not to think about it. Why are they watching me? I don't have nothing for you. You can't help but wonder if they know what you nearly done. Now you're just being paranoid. Did you think they really know? They weren't even there. But... Oh my gosh, it's not like you meant to hurt anyone. That guilt's eating you alive, bruh. No way they know anything. Not like you gave it to them, right? Yeah, look, he, he don't know, he don't know. You finally reach your apartment building. You're about to unlock the door when they're all behind me, aren't they? Yeah, they're all behind me, oh my gosh. You loud bitches, shut up. Shut up! Oh my gosh. You look behind you, only to see dozens of cats standing there. I don't have nothing for y'all! Looking at you. Did they see you feeding the cat in the alley and thought that you had more for food for all of them? Probably. I I'm sorry, I don't have any more food for you. None of them move an inch. You're starting to feel a little unnerved when finally a single cat 
pushes his way to the front and it's probably that probably that fucking cat. It's probably Yup, look at Huh? Ain't no way he found that chocolate bar. Oh, it's you No way. Oh it's dot 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 held carefully between his teeth is a chocolate bar you thrown away earlier. That cat no way could jump that high into a freaking actually they actually can. Uh oh, you fucked up. Bruh, you should have just took it with you. It places the chocolate bar down in front of it before looking it back up at you. They like see what you did, see what you almost did. All the cats look up at you. Dot dot dot. You can feel their judgment. Ah! <laughs> you feel your sins weighing down heavily on your back. But without the money to buy enough food for all of them, you don't know what to do. Your heart's beating fast because I can still hear it. Beg for forgiveness or go inside. Beg for forgiveness or go inside. I feel like if you try to go inside, they're going to attack your ass. But seeing as that's an option, we're going to have to see it anyway. But we're going to beg for forgiveness, even though they're probably not going to understand what you're doing. You collapse to your knees and bow down low as you start to earnestly beg for their forgiveness. I, I'm so sorry. I, I swear. I, I'd do anything to make it up to all of you, but but you're out of options. Suddenly. Oh. Ah! Oh, great. I, 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 <laughs> you feel something stir in your stomach. As soon as way up to your throat. Ugh. Closing off your airway as it tries to force its way out of your esophagus. What the hell? B blah. It finally succeeds with aid from your helpless gagging. What the hell? What the heck did you just... Dot, dot, dot. Okay, I'm still wondering what... What the... Lying on the ground in front of you. Notice. No, he didn't cough up a fish. A flopping fish. Not even, like, cut at all. A whole fish came out your freaking stomach. How does that even make sense? You just threw up a living fish. It's living. Like it just came out the water. Like you just picked it up out of the water like you were fishing. What the hell? That's what they was looking at you. The cats come rushing forward, all tearing hungrily at the fish. You're, you're happy to finally be of help, truly, but you just coughed up a fish. How can you be that happy? But how? Blood. Are you cough, coughing up another one? You throw up another fish. How the? Why do you have fishes in your body like this? Okay, he's he just throwing he keeps throwing them up. And another. And another. And another. And another. How many you gonna cough out? Dang, it's like and da da da. Your stomach hurts. Yeah, when you puke, I'm pretty sure your stomach hurts afterwards. You're getting dizzy. You fall to your knees. Tears and snot are streaming down your face by the time you cough up a final, tiny, bloody fish that collapse forward. Your throat and stomach both burn in a way that feels dangerous. You start to fade out. Despite the pain, why does this music have to start? You strangely feel a more overwhelming sense of hopeful pride. This is supposed to be happy music, I think, but it's not. That, like, it doesn't feel happy to me. That you made up for your disgusting actions. That you've been forgiven. And who was that freaking purring? I mean, not purring, meowing. Oh, it's probably all of them. Right? The sound of happy cats munching away at their fish fills your ears. Then, it's that. Huh? What the heck is that? No, these bitches didn't slide the freaking chocolate bar under my freaking hand. You feel something being nudged into your hand. It feels like... The, the, it's the bar of chocolate you found in your pocket. These are... They think they really funny for that. 
Dot dot dot. <laughs> you smile weakly. Why? That's not funny. You successfully atone, but you don't really have the strength to eat your reward. Sadly, the last taste in your mouth as you leave this moral coil doesn't get to be that of chocolate, but raw fish. What the hell? Ending 24. Fishing for pardon. Bro, I can't. Bro, you got some issues, and they need to be worked out, because I don't really understand. Like, this is making my head hurt. Wait, what the freak? Whoa. I'm sure that we're, yeah, we're obviously back here. I'm sure that going inside means death. Like, not, not death as in coughing up fish that y'all just saw. Death as in they're going to all scratch up on you. You decide to cut your losses and head inside. Your sins weigh down on you. But you're only human. What more can you do? And they're all outside. Jeez. You try to ignore the yowling of the neighborhood cats as you go about your chores. Is that breathing? I don't like that. Could you stop that? Like, I remember this music from the, uh, the beginning, but the, the breathing part is not what I remember. You consider preparing dinner, but how could you enjoy knowing how hungry these poor cats outside are? The ones you wronged. Not on purpose, though. You decide to take a bath and go straight to bed without dinner. This, 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 and this protagonist is freaking punishing herself for something that he didn't even realize. Fitting punishment for someone like you. You forego the fancy bath bubbles because you don't deserve them and sink into the water with a sigh. Your mind races, but you can't really think of any immediate solution that doesn't require more money. You wish there was something, anything you could do to make things right. Suddenly, your legs start to feel really itchy. You try to lift one to see what's going on, but what rises out of the water isn't a pair of legs. What the hell rises out of them? What is it? What the heck? Oh, we're a mermaid. We're, we're a merman. We're a merman. It's a fishtail. Or fish, fish, mermaid, whatever, same thing, whatever. You feel dizzy at the sight. Maybe you're hallucinating from the stress. Dot, dot, dot. You try to climb out of the tub to cool your head, but instead of your hand rising up to brace itself, it's a fin. Like, I can already see, yep. A wet fin stretches out to plop onto the plop onto the rim. We're, we're a fish now. It's too weak to hold your weight, and you're, star you're so startled by the sight. We fall into the water. Ow. Or do that. Yeah, that one hurt, didn't it? Dot, dot, dot. That you slip and smack your head on the side of the bathtub, passing out almost immediately. Dot, dot, dot. You're awake. You think, anyway. You open your eyes and... Yeah, you're in the water. You're underwater? It must have slipped... Be you must have slipped beneath the surface of the bath water. You gasp instinct instinctively, except not really. Yeah, because you're a freaking fish now. You don't need to do all that. A bubble simply floats out your mouth, up, up, up to the surface. You're broke as heck, so you know your bath water isn't that big. Did, dot, dot, dot. D did you shrink? But how? And even if there was a reasonable answer, which there's not, other than you're a freaking fish, it wouldn't explain how you hadn't drowned yet. Did he not see that he had a freaking fish tail and fins? Like, how do you not realize that? You swim to the edge of the tub to see the truth in your shadow silhouette. Dot, dot. Yeah, you're a freaking fish. You've been turned into a fish? Yeah, so surprised. This isn't possible. You don't get any time to ponder this, unfortunately. Because just then, what? A shadow looms over you from above. Now, bitch, is that fucking cat. You look up and see the cat, of course. 
it peers down at you from beyond the water surface. How the hell did you get in the house? That's the question I need you to answer right now. Dot, dot, dot. And then, then you realize this is the answer. This is how you're meant to atone. Dot, dot, dot. With a heavy heart. Why has it got to have to add the music to it? That makes it more creepy. You swim up to the surface. Oh, so you're just gonna... You're just gonna give yourself to him. Yep. That, that's exactly what he just did. The cat scoops you up. Tosses you out of the tub and onto the bathroom tiles. Look at him. As you flop around gasping for air. Or water, for that matter. You realize the cat wasn't alone. It's all the other neighborhood cats you left outside. Again, how did they get in the fucking house? I still don't understand that. Dozens of hungry eyes peer down at you. You can hear the yowling of what sounds like hundreds of cats outside your bathroom window. You send one last look to the cat before closing your eyes and accepting your fate. What else can you do at that point? There's nothing else you could do. As the cats descend upon you, tearing at your flesh. I'm sorry, this is sad. To find yourself mourning the fact dot 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 that you're not even big enough to feed all of them. Well that's too damn bad. I don't know what you want me to do about that at this point. Like, I really don't. Even in the end, you couldn't properly atone. He's still trying to blame himself. Your efforts, your life, all of it, dot, 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 amounted to nothing. Really, dot, dot, dot. Ending 25, seafood sacrifice. Bro, me and this cat got problems. Really do. Like, what the f- I Wah! Alright, this time, instead of checking our pockets, because we already know what's going to happen there, look around the area for some food. You glance around the dark and dingy alley, only to see garbage bags, trash bins, empty cardboard boxes, and scattered litter here and there. If there were something for the cat to eat, surely it would have found it by now, right? But you don't want to give it up so easily. You keep looking. You look and only see garbage. Hey, one man's garbage is another man's treasure. That's what I've heard before. You sniff and only smell garbage. You listen. Uh oh, listen for what? Really? What is that? You just barely make out the sound of a faint scurrying by a trash bin a few feet away. Oh shoot, we got to find. What is that? Quietly, oh so quietly, you creep over to the bin, and dot dot dot. What do we find? You lunge, and you fucking crash. Yeah, great idea to do that. Dot dot dot. You weren't very graceful in your attempt. You stumbled and knocked over a stack of nearby boxes full of more trash. But as you stand up. Grasping your hand, oh, maybe you weren't, maybe you were successful. Dot dot dot. A mouse? Oh shoot! I didn't know what that sound meant before. Oh, that's such a cute mouse though. But you know what? This is the game of life, and it, you know you want to take one for the team, my boy. The mouse squeaks and squeaks in distress, wiggling and struggling desperately in your grip. You're holding it too tightly and carefully for it to be able to bite. Or scratch you them. It wears itself out eventually and looks up at you with black eyes. Yeah, he's scared. He's like, please don't. It's completely at your mercy. Spare the mouse or feed the mouse to the cat. We did all that hurting ourselves to lunch at that cat. I'm sorry, y'all. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. Look at his eyes. His eyes went bigger as soon as I did that. The mouse looks scared as it can sense as if it can sense your intentions. He knows what it look at that actually makes me sad. It weakly starts to struggle again. To no avail. All the squeaking still ain't gonna help you, I'm sorry. 
I feel so bad. Like I, I, I really do feel bad. The mouse is reluctant. We get another freaking chance. I'm kind of going more towards spare the mouse at this time, but we can't let it. We can't let it sway us. We gotta go. Dot dot dot. You feed the mouse to the cat. And what I didn't mention was why was the why was those freaking the text red at that time? Like why was it red? I, I whatever. I don't know. The cat tears it apart instantly. Aww. Aww. Yeah, you you're done. Ugh. Not the sounds. I, don't make those sounds near me. The mouse's pain it squeaks and squeals pierce through you until they're abruptly cut off. Ow. Satisfied, the cat mules happily at you, red tainting its fangs. Yeah, I bet you're happy now. Dot, dot, dot. The cat curls up in its now blood-stained box and goes to sleep. You don't even, we don't even know what to say. What do you say? Like, that, that's sad. You take the chance to leave. A well-fed cat will likely follow you home, after all. And as cute as this cat is, you... Dot, dot, dot. You really can't afford a pet right now. Yeah, we already established this. Still feeling a little guilty about the mouse, you decide to just go home. Da, da, da. He's feeling so guilty. Look, he, he's not saying anything. Da, da, da. Oh my gosh, he's not saying anything. Get to the house already. And he's, what is that? Why is there breathing? After a long walk home, you finally enter your apartment. I don't like this. You head straight for your room. Uh oh, it stopped. And it collapsed into your bed, falling into a fitful sleep. How did you get so tired that quick? Later, oh, this is where real shit happens. You wake up. Oh no. Oh, his buddies have found you. His buddies have found your home. Why is it so loud? To squeaking and scurrying noises all around you. Yeah, his boys are getting revenge. So loud and constant, they sound like screams. In the darkness of your room. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. You see the shifting shadows of hundreds of mice surrounding your bed. Yeah, we're dead. You try to run. Mouses are too freaking fast. You ain't gonna be running from a mouse. Ah! But you cry out as thin laces of pain races up to your legs. You fall off the bed in your attempt to escape. The hordes of mice dodging you as you crash to the ground. You. Dot, dot. You can't stand up. Looking back and squinting in the dark, you just about make out the source of your pain. Yeah. It. They freaking tore through your freaking flesh. The flesh and tendons of your heels and ankles are mangled. Bitten through your socks. Oh, through the socks. I thought that was just his feet. N no! No! L leave me alone! Despite, you crawl with only your arms towards the door. Yeah, you ain't getting away after that one, bruh. The mice descend upon you. It ain't looking good. I'm sorry. Biting into your skin. Uh, gnawing away pieces of you. Just end it. Like, oh my gosh, you got me. You start to fade in and out of consciousness. But you still reach up for the doorknob. I don't know how you could do that. Your arm heavy, weighed down by the mice clinging to it with their little claws and tiny teeth. You managed to drive with the knob enough for the door to slowly swing open. Really? Yeah, to no avail, because I think it just fell. Dot, dot, dot. They chomped his arm off. Damn. But your outstretched arm suddenly falls to the ground. Lifeless. Oh. The mice managed to chew through the flesh and bone of your now dismembered limb. 
As a few mice creep forward to curiously inspect your arm, you stare at it blankly for a moment before sliding your gaze up. In a newly opened doorway sits a familiar looking... Is that the one that... Mouse? Yeah, that's the one that... That's the one that you let the cat kill. It stares at you. The darkness is in his beady black eyes. Wait, how are you here if we let the cat destroy you? I don't get it. You can't begin to measure their deaths. Oh boy. Beady ass red eyes. Okay. Nor the hatred pouring out from within them. All of it. Oh. Aimed at you. Yeah, of course it would be. Ah! You collapse. Head hitting the floor as your other arm is eaten away as well. You're not sure how you're still conscious. The pain should be indescribable. And yet, you just feel a cold sense of loss. The mice have clustered along your back now, gnawing and ripping their way between your shoulder blades. Ow! Into your back, into your chest. Ugh! <coughs> you weakly cough up blood. They must have damaged something important. You feel something being poured out of you. My intestines? And in between the moments that blankness of darkness fade out, your vision? What that? You hear something wet plop onto the ground in front of you. You pry your eyes open and see it in front of the house. A mouse. Oh, it's heart. Oh, that's... That's your heart. I thought it was your intestines. Isn't it? How are you alive? Oh, yep. All the other mice de descend upon it, abandoning your half-eaten body. You're losing a lot of blood. Actually, by that point, you should be dead, not just losing a lot of blood. You feel sleepy. But you also feel... What? Anger? Yes. So... So much anger. How dare they? Oh boy. How dare they? The last thing you see before your vision fails you is that ma is a pair of glowing eyes leering in from the darkness behind the doorway. Why? Did you command them? Because we fed you. We made you happy. So why are you behind all of them like you were directing them to do this shit? And he lunged to us too? You can hear squeaks and shrieks of terror all around you. Oh wait, or is he helping us? Low y Is he helping us? I thought he was with them at that time. Deep snarls and gnashing teeth. Tearing flesh. As your, as your remaining senses leave you, you smile weakly with the last of your strength. When something soft, slightly damp, and sticky fur nuzzles, nuzzles your cheek. That's the cat. That's the cat. The cat helped us. I mean, it's kind of a little too late because we're pretty much dead. Good kitty. How are you able to say that? And you're dead. Ending 27. Well fed. Well. <sighs> I mean, yeah, he was well fed, but he, he came to our, our aid too late. So you know what? I don't even actually want to say that to him. I don't want to say good kitty because he didn't help us with shit. Alright, this time, you swayed me, cat. You swayed me. I mean, not cat. You swayed me, mouse. We're going to spare you. We're going to spare you. And the cat's not going to like that. The cat's not going to like that. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. We already seen what happens. I don't care how sad you look. You already did to you already didn't help us when we did feed it to you. You can hear the cat's stomach growling. It must be so hungry. It must be starving. No. No, no, no. No. Why his eyes get so big after that? Oh shoot. Oh he getting mad. Oh you getting angry, little bitch. I don't care. We already don't like you. You know the cat is hungry. Why are you hesitating? 
You caught prey for the cat's sake, didn't you? Yeah, we did, but I thought about it. Are you really going to value the life of a filthy rodent more than the cats? Who was talking to us? It's not us talking to ourselves, it seems like now. It seems like somebody else is saying it. Filthy rodent. Like, they don't have a life, too. And they really give me the... Like, they did this... No, we're sparing the mouse. Oh, he's gonna kill us. Yep. I, I, I knew it. What? Why? Why you have to do that? Like, I know we, we didn't feed you that, but you don't have to do all that. You're mocking me, aren't you? Now, the red text, somebody else is definitely talking. Last chance. Oh, they're gonna give me the... Hand over the prey. Now! Oh, you know what? That doesn't scare me. That doesn't scare me. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Huh? You let the mouse go. Huh? Oh, oh, okay. I thought you let it go for him. Yeah. It scurries away, squeezing into a tiny hole in the wall. But you don't pay it much mind. Because we got bigger problems to deal with. Is that? You don't flinch as a giant claw paw slowly falls in front of you, blocking your path to the alley's entrance. Not that you had any delusions about escaping. Dot, dot, dot. The cat is hungry after all. And yeah. We're about to feed it. You close your eyes in acceptance as the paw gently pulls you back. And back. And... We can all expect that now at this point, right? Ending 26. A life spared. But not our life. Whoa, y'all. Y'all. I went back around to the feet and the cat. And I was trying to go to the part where like, it would give us multiple choices, to, multiple chances to spare the mouse or give the mouse to the cat. Before I even got there, that other option that was a question marks, blood. Well, we know what this means. I don't know why the cat would want blood, like when we first see it. But why would we think that it wants blood when we first see a cat? The cat lets out a sad, pleading little sound. It's hungry. It must be starving. So, you... Yeah, what are you going to do? You look around and see a nearby shard of glass. Your body moves as, is it, as, as is it, if it knows what to do. I couldn't even say that. What needs to be done. I mean, we surely we've, you know, seen a cat drink our blood before, but this is supposed to be the first time we see it, right? You take the shard and... Uh, yeah, that. I know exactly what you, yep. What? Why would you? Look, he's even questioning himself. Why would you do that? Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't put, don't put just the glowing eyes. That cat's gonna lunge. No. You carefully hold your finger over the cat. Dark red blood beads at the wound. That cat's gonna jump for it. Oh no, he, is he? No, he's gonna let it drip onto him. Before growing heavy enough to drip into the cat's open, waiting jaws. Are you sure he's not gonna take our finger off? It meals happily at you. Okay, he's not. You, sm you smile warmly and lower your hand into the box, stroking the cat's cheek before letting it lap gently at your bleeding finger. When the flow gets weak and the cat meows for more, you squeeze below the wound, coaxing more blood out. What? Are you good, sir? Like he's just doing this and he's happy about it. You feel a strange but welcome sense of comfort from the odd exchange. Like I said, he feels happy. A being other than yourself was hungry. And you were able to provide it sus sustenance. Sustenance. I, 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 don't, I, I can't say that word right now. A small wrong in a world made right. Even so, even if so strangely done, and only temporary. 
Are you sure it's only temporary? Ironically, it's at that moment that you start to feel dizzy. Yeah, I bet I, bet I know why. You didn't think you were losing that much blood. You slump against the cat's box and listen to it meow in distress. I gave you too much, alright? You don't need no more. You think it sounds worried about you. Or at least you like to think that. It could just want more blood as well. It probably does want that. The cat hops out of the box and into your lap, nuzzling at your stomach and meowing unhappily. Yeah, he wants that. You wish it, you could ease its, its concerns, but it's not like you could just talk to each other. You can't help but try to remember the last time you talked to anyone, actually. If you were to die here and now in this alley, how long would it take for someone to realize you were missing? Okay, this is going, this is going very, very deep, more deep than I thought. Like, maybe you're trying to say we have nobody to talk to, that you were gone. Oh shoot! Dot, dot, dot. Were we dozing off? I don't know what we were doing, but that cat's. I don't know. We weren't. Your thoughts are interrupted when the cat yells loudly, tensing up in your lap. You don't have time to wonder why as a voice rings out from the entryway to the alley. Hello? Is that actually another person? Oh, hey you! Are you alright? That's the first time we've ever seen somebody in a while. You don't answer. You don't think you can. Your voice feels locked away, deep deep within you. The cat looks up at you with a long stare, as if assessing you. It looks back towards the voice with a final nuzzle to your stomach. Oh no. Oh no. It, ho it hops out of your lap, walking towards the alley's entrance. I know exactly what it's going to do. But then, it starts to shift as, huh? Crack. Da da da. Hmm? How did you split your own head into two heads, bruh? Yo, what the freak? Its face opens up. Oh, ew. It peels back. And opens again. Weathering ten tendrils peeking out from where you think its mouth should be. Yo. The stranger silhouette freezes in the light behind the alley. What the hell is? But they don't have a chance to finish their question. Oh my. Ew. The tendrils converge into one. Before shooting out the cat's jaws. And onto the stranger. Yep. And piercing into the stranger's shoulder. <gasps> they let out a pain cry. A fearful yell. They claw at the tendrils. 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 Trying to pull them loose. But to no avail. You can't seem to process their screams. Why not? You stare at the creature before you. So different from the cat who had mewed out of concern for you earlier. Not really. They just wanted more blood, I'm pretty sure. Stop the cat or let it feed. I done died so many times from this damn cat. But then that's not right to kick somebody that's very innocent. Let him. We're already on our deathbed anyway because he said he couldn't move or anything. Sorry, man. You got to take it. You got to take it this time. Ah! Someone help me! Help! I'm sorry. I, I can't help you, bro. Uh oh. Dot, dot, dot. You look away as the creature devours the stranger. Oh, and then draining them into their nothing but a husk of bone, skin, and clothes heaped on the floor. Dot, dot, dot. You feel awful, but what could you do? The creature is also a living thing. Shouldn't it be allowed to eat what it needs to? I have mixed thoughts about that. But I'm not going to say anything. Does it also not have a right to do what it must to survive? Uh, yes, but... 
You ignore the voice in the back of your head that questions if there could have been another way. It's not like you tried to see it if it could eat anything other than blood. We definitely had plenty of times. Not like we didn't freaking die after doing it. Human blood. Now, did you? Yes, we actually did. Dot, dot, dot. I don't want that creature come back to me. And it came back to me. The creature purrs as it rubs its side into your arm. You realize that after a bit of rest, you've already started feeling better. Dot, dot, dot. But, you also think that something inside you feels a little bit broken too. We just let a stranger freaking die, and we could have den done something. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Stop with this damn music. You're just not quite sure what it is yet. Dot, dot, dot. You stand out and hold your arms. Still hungry? You know it is. That thing is a freaking monster. The creature trills happily and hops into your outstretched arms. Alright, don't tell me you're about to feed it more. Let's go then, yeah? Wait. Huh? You leave the alley together. You go out into the world together. Oh, shoot. I didn't expect it to be like this. The cat is hungry. And it will be hungry often from now on. Very often. Uh oh. Screams of fear and terror follow you both wherever you go. So basically, we're just letting it feed on innocent people. And without thought or care or concern for any of it, you just stand back and watch. Oh my gosh. Ending 2029. 20, All you can eat blood fay. Oh no. Bro, what the hell? I ain't expected to go like that. This time, we're gonna stop that damn cat. But of course, we all probably know what's gonna happen if we stop this cat. I don't even know why I'm calling it a cat anymore. You can't let this happen. Dot, dot, dot. You shakily crawl forward. And just, and weakly grab at the conjoined tendrils that pulse as they drain the stranger's blood. When you tug as firmly as you're able, the tendrils pulsing halts, and the cat turns to you. I told you. It makes a strange thrilling noise that sounds like a question. Probably like, why are you stopping this? Do you want to be next? <laughs> That's what they're saying. But you have no answer. You can't even understand the question. So you simply scoop up the creature. The cat. No, it's a creature. You can keep it at that. Cradling it in your arms. You gaze almost lonely at the light beyond the alley's entrance. You don't know what's going on. But you can't just sit by and watch someone else be eaten so viciously. Not when they tried to see if you were okay. Which is true. Not when you could offer yourself instead. Yep. So we know what's going on here. You think the stranger is set free. Because after the sound of shoes hastily scuffing on the pavement fades into the distance, yeah, they gone. And now you're dead. Ugh. You feel something sharp pierce your back. It literally stabbed you in the back. <laughs> literally. And figuratively. It feels thin. Almost like a needle. So the pain passes quickly as your body adjusts to the intrusion. Your shirt wasn't so thin when it skeered through the stranger's shoulder earlier. Are you sure? You don't know how I've felt. But as you feel your blood leave your body, slowly as this is being pumped out, it gets harder to think and your vision starts to fail you. The creature in your arms makes a soft sound. You hold it as tightly and closely to you as your weak arms can manage. Why? It's the one literally hurting you. This is fine though. You're okay with this. You don't know if this will change anything. No. Surely the cat will get hungry again at some point after you're gone and... No longer an option. What? But... At least this time... You were able to save someone. Well, yes, but... Ending 28. Personal care package.
Oh, oh no, y'all. Something's about to happen. They didn't let me skip it. They're not letting me skip into where I would. Uh oh. Oh boy. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Why are they not letting me skip it this time? Something. Oh, something. I'm so sorry. Oh, we're getting into the. We're getting deeper and deeper into whatever this story is really supposed to be. I was just so tired of everything. Not you. Never you. Are you going to explain who you are? But I couldn't be the person you deserve. Couldn't ever hope to be. You were so amazing. Smart, talented, and independent. You shined. Who the hell? Are we talking to somebody or is somebody talking about us? Can you give me a fucking clue? But in comparison, I... Dot, dot, dot. Damn it. That's what I'm saying. So stupid. So worthless. Can't say that. Don't say that. Dot, dot, dot. But when it approached me. It. So now we're dealing with it's now. Not he, she, it. Okay, okay. It didn't tell me that it wanted me. Yes, I'm going to emphasize it all the time. It needed me. Because it's in blood. It's in blood. In red text. Maybe that's what I wanted all along. Wanting could be so fleeting. But to be needed... There was nothing I wouldn't give to have someone tell me that I mattered to them. Oh, this is sad. That they needed me. This is sad. Where are we going with this? I can't even think about... Dot, dot, dot. They're walking. Oh, is this going to be... Did we just literally... Bro. Okay, we did all the play with the cat ones... We did all the feet with the cat ones, right? I'm pretty sure. So now we're gonna leave the cat. Leave it. I don't know if there's more options for leave it, but I, we're gonna leave it. We don't think it's a good idea to keep to get the hats, cat's hopes up having someone to look after it if you're not willing to commit. What if it gets attached and somehow tracks you down back to your home? It's gonna do that anyway. You never get away from it then. Sorry, see you around, I guess. You stand up. The cat watching your every move. It's gonna meow. You make it halfway out the alley when the cat meows almost pitifully at you. I don't care. Look at his face. I don't care. Dot, dot, dot. Ignore or turn back. Let's see what happens when we turn back. Is this just gonna give us the same options? Aww. How are you supposed to walk away from that? What kind of monster would you be if you could? You sigh a little and walk back to the cat. And it's just happy again. It looks almost hopeful. Its tail switching faster as it leans up a little more towards you. As if eager for your next move. Stay or leave? Well, we know staying doesn't do anything. Well, not, we don't know, but no, we gotta leave. You really can't afford to take the cat home with you. Well, maybe it wouldn't be completely impossible. A few extraneous luxuries cut here and there, and you could see things working out, sure. But there's a slight problem that's been making you waver this entire time. One you simply can't ignore. The problem being, dot dot dot, that you just can't trust this cat. <laughs> Yo, I'm glad they finally, I'm glad this... The uh, protagonist is realizing how many times we've probably, we've probably, how many times we've died to this bitch. We cannot trust him. Look at his face. You're not smiling no more. It sounds ridiculous, even in your head. Cats don't require trust to care for. They're incapable of betrayal or deception. Specifically because, like other animals, 
They only seek out the most basic essentials of living, procreation and comfort. Analysis is something that could ever be logically be applied to them. And yet, and yet, you feel it. That behind that gut wretchedly adorable face is something dangerous. And that something brought you here. It called you here. There's that it again. You're a curious person, but even you can't shake the deep instinctual desire to get away from it, get away from it, get away from it, get away. <laughs> this is going to keep saying get away from it. Oh, shoot. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, this ain't good. It goes down to the box. The cat's face looks blank. It's an expression that you've seen on many cats before, but something about it feels sharper. Not the heart beating. Something's going to happen. Like it's aware of your thoughts and your intention to leave. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Why is it getting dark? And it's daring you to try. Oh! You want to play a little game, huh? You slowly stand up. The cat tracks your movement with his eyes, not bothering to move its head. You don't say a word. You try not to even think. Get away from it. Get away from it. Get away. Yeah, we gotta leave. Die, die, die. Though you don't really succeed. Wait, does he? Oh, I thought he died. You turn around and quickly leave the alley, feeling those sharp eyes on you the whole way. Why did the... I hate what it does that? When you get a good distance away, you finally take in deep gulps of air. <sighs> I tell you what, I don't feel. I wouldn't feel like. You accomplish anything yet. Da, da, da. You you feel better now. And there's still plenty of time left for to enjoy your day off. Da, da, da. As long as you forget everything that just happened. But what to do? I think I'll What the heck is this? Why is the freaking Do you see the text, y'all? Oh, we fucked up. We should have never did that. We should have never go to dog park. You know what? Fuck cats. You're right. Dogs. I've seen too many cats dealing with him. You decide to take a stroll in the park or something. The only one within your walking distance for the day is a nearby dog park. You think it'll make you feel better. First, you get to see a cute cat today. Now you'll get to see a cute dog. Several of them, in fact. Just like we saw several cats before. The park is bustling with owners and their canine companions. Playing frisbee, fetch, running, jumping, even napping. So, dogs are disgusting. They should all... I didn't even get to read... I know what it said, but I didn't even get to read it. Wow. Who's making us think like that? Dot, dot, dot. You... You decide to move on. The dogs are also adorable. You want to pet every single one you come across. But you know not all owners are cool with strangers just walking around and manhandling their pets. Most of them are. It depends. Not all dogs appreciate it either. So you stroll along the path trying to exclude a welcoming aura that will beckon one of these cute doggies to you. You don't have to wait very long. You stop as the smallest, cutest puppy you've ever seen scampers up to you, blocking your path. I mean, that's cute, but uh, why is the background green? And you're not, and you're green too. That's not your actual color, is it? Uh, oh no. Oh no. The heart beating. Puppy. Da, da, da. You pick up the puppy and. Yo, what the? What is that? What was that? What was that? <sighs> you think you're really slick, don't you? Dot, dot, dot. What the? How did you get back here? That cat, really. Get away from it. Get away from it. Get away from it. Please let me leave. You leave the alley quickly this time. I mean, you did last time, though. 
Wait, so we can't... What now? Oh, I, I see. The cat's... So the cat's gonna mess up our every attempt to get away from it. That's what I'm thinking. You know what? Surely you can't find this in a carnival, right? There's too many people. You spend the day at the carnival. Ferris wheel, roller coaster, ferro boat, ride you've been on before, which I'm still waiting for come to park to open up. Like, I'm ready for that job. Hoops, coin toss, balloon darts, games you played before. Funnel cake, popcorn, cotton candy, food you've eaten before. Yeah, we got the point. All things you've enjoyed before. You're surrounded by groups of people all having fun together. Laughing, playing, eating, taking pictures, excuse me, making memories, and then there's you. <laughs> That's fucked up, though. We don't have nobody. The sun hasn't started to set yet. It's still high in the sky, but it will soon. You start to wonder if maybe you should just go home for the day. No, when you're stopping your tracks. You see something new, an attraction you've never seen before. A maze of funhouse mirrors? It sounds kind of lame, honestly. There isn't even a line to get in. Uh-oh. But then, what else is there to do? I mean, you could do everything else but that. You see that? Why is it backwards? I hate backwards shit. Something's gonna go wrong in here, obviously. You enter the maze. Da, da, da. Oh, boy. oh my gosh, this damn cat. What is wrong with you? What do you want? Da, da, da. The cat's face looks... Looks what? Get away from it. Get away. Yes, we got that. Why do you keep wanting us to come back to you? Even if we did take you home, you still kill us anyway. We've done that already. That's why I haven't done the chances to, to uh, freaking... That's why I haven't taken those chances to take you home yet. Because we've done it a couple times and you've, we've still died. What now? Now we gotta go watch a movie. I have a feeling that the movie we're not gonna be able to watch. It's been a while since the film came out and looked interesting enough for you to drag yourself to a movie theater. But there's a showing of one such film at the old theater. It was a little too niche to be picked up by the new cinema that opened right across the street. That's okay though. You're not exactly a fan of the crowds. And nothing ruins the, ex the experience of watching a new movie for, for you more than a noisy audience. I couldn't even, I can't talk, I'm sorry. Go to the old theater or go to, you know what? I'm going to the old theater because look how the text is messed up. Let's see how. Let's see how dumb this gets. You eagerly buy your ticket from the old man in the booth and head inside. Uh oh, we're back there, are we? Uh oh. Oh, I think this is gonna happen anyway. Big ass fucking eyes. The cat's face looks. He's gonna say, "Get away from it." Yeah. I think this time we better get away from it though. From eyes though. You leave the alley quickly. A fucking game. Dot, dot, dot. What now? Oh, okay, so we just go back to the movie part and we go to the old, uh, the new cinema, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Even though probably, the cat's probably going to follow us anyway. You don't know why, but you don't really feel great about the idea of being alone right now. Great idea. Deciding to wait for the movie you've been anticipating to be available on DVD or streaming. You decide the long line. You, you join the long line outside the new cinema. By the time you reach the ticket booth, you just want to get inside. So you pick a movie at random and take your ticket from tired looking teenagers manning the booth. You head inside. We're going to be back. We're going to be back to the cat. We won't be able to watch a movie. I told you, it's not gonna matter. Look at his freaking face. This bitch doesn't care. This this cat's face looks... It's... It's what? What more can you say about it? Get away from me. Oh, no. No, no. Shut up. It's gonna jump at me. It's gonna jump at me. 
You leave the alley quickly. Again. For like the fourth fucking time. There's nothing else to do. What now? I think I'll go home. Yeah, like that's probably going to work. Wait. Haven't you done this before? Like four times. How are you just not realizing you've done this before? Dot, dot, dot. You feel sick. Looking around, you suddenly realize that unlike earlier, there isn't a single person in sight. Oh, shoot. This is different. A little bit. You're alone. You're completely alone. This cat then took everybody away from me. Stop with this. I hate this. So why do you feel like you're being watched right now? Dot, dot, dot. Your, you feel your heartbeat start to race. I'm rocking back and forth. I don't know why I'm doing this shit. This is a new thing where I just get scared and I start rocking back and forth. I need to get home. Now. Please, this cat. This cat. You walk back home. The feeling of eyes on your back getting worse with each step. I mean, you saw that cat's eyes, so I didn't want to surprise you that you feel that way. By the time you're fumbling with the keys at the door, you're soaked with cold sweat. I, I, he like, he like that right now. I, I'll do the same thing. The heavily gaze you feel might as well be eyeballs physically pressed into your flesh. Sticky and unnatural. You finally get inside and the cat. We don't get inside nowhere. <sighs> the weight of relief inside that escapes through your lips actually causes you to physically shudder. The horrible feeling from earlier immediately dispaces as if it was never there. In the wake of its departure, you're left shaking and cold in your sweat soaked clothes. But you're too relieved to care. All right. Exhausted, you mentally pass on the very concept of eating and head straight for your bedroom. Yeah, all right, like this is gonna go well. You open the door, intending to pass out. Me oh, this damn cat! I should have known it wasn't over. I knew it wasn't over. I knew it wasn't over. What does your bitch ass want? Not again! No, no! You back up in fear. Eyes straight on the cat and his horrifying grin. What the fuck do you want from me? You need to escape. You need to get out. But even if home isn't safe anymore, where would you go? You risk a glance around you and... And what? You see that the walls around you have become fleshy and lined with sharp teeth. What the hell? The ground now a tongue writhing, writhing at your feet. Ew. How are we inside a mouth right now? In horror, you realize that the alley's entrance is getting smaller and smaller, closing like a mouth. As you try to run for the exit, yeah, and that's not going to work. Nowhere to hide, nowhere to hide, nowhere to hide. But trying to run on the tongue slows your speed significantly as you stumble and trip. We're dead. You know we're dead. No. You watch helplessly as the last silver light from the entrance tanks behind a size you can never hope to squeeze through. Okay, cat, you won this time. Again, as darkness falls over you, you feel the damp humidity of the mouth all around you. The walls, the walls of teeth, fangs, take their time closing in. Closer, and closer, and yep, they chomp on me. We're dead. Should've expected that. We definitely should have expected that. Ending 23. Feedback loop. You a bitch. You know that? You're a bitch. Alright, this time, we ignored this bitch. We don't, we don't go back to him. We ignored it. Nope. Nope. You need to nip in this, you need to nip this in the bud and get on with your day. It's what's best for the both of you. You leave the alley and continue on your way. Wait, what was I doing? An excitement of dealing with your furry dilemma. You've forgotten that you have still had to decide on what you were going to do on your day off. Oh. So, basically, I see what they're doing now here. We were probably supposed to do this first before we got the other ending. Because these are, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do it the same freaking way. Dog park. We're going to do it that first. Besides, take a stroll in the park or something. The only one 
I think it'll make you feel better. Yeah, I can skip past this part. We've already seen this. Whatever. Like you want anything to do with these mang mangy mutts. Okay, he didn't say that before. What the heck are you saying that for? What's wrong? You didn't think that. Did you? You decide to move on. Some, uh, someone isn't controlling us. And I, I want to know who. That's the actual dog color. Aww. Now he actually looks cute. You stop as the smallest, cutest puppy you've ever seen and scampers up to you, blocking your path. Whoa, what? Leave the park, kick the puppy, kill the puppy, eat the puppy. Can we pick it up? That's the that's the least insane thing. Kill the puppy. What the freak? You pick up the puppy and Oh no. Like this. Hold on. Wait. There was a time limit I didn't even see. I think I missed it. You barely just managed to rain and flex and throw the puppy. Oh wait, maybe I did catch it. I think I, I think I caught myself. I saw a time limit at the last second. You just barely managed to rein in the reflex and throw the puppy as far away from you as possible. Dot dot dot. With shaking hands, you quickly place the puppy on the grass and take several jerky steps back. The owner seems confused by your by your reaction to their puppy. They're like, why are you doing that to them? But you just wave at them in a daze before hastily stubbing them away. Oh shoot, this is some bull. Maybe you're not feeling so great about being in the park at the moment. Maybe you should just leave. Leave the park or stay at the park. Matter of fact, I'm not I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving, bruh. I don't wanna leave. You stay at the park. Yep, that's right, bitch. You're telling whoever's controlling you saying that. We're saying that to them. You try to calm down by watching all the dogs from afar as you walk along the path. But every so often one will come up to you. Huh? And when they do, they look, oh he's tripping. Wrong. The owners don't seem to notice because it's not real. Find a bench and sit down for a quick break, closing your eyes. Maybe this wasn't the best idea after all. No, it was. Maybe. Dot dot dot. What the hell? Dot dot dot. You should have stayed with me instead. Who the fuck? Is that the damn cat? Is that the cat? Hmm? What the hell? broken out of your thoughts when something lands gently on your lap. You look down and see a frisbee on your thighs. Okay. Hey, sorry about that. Can you throw that back? You look up and see an owner waving at you in the distance. But more importantly, the dark. I mean, the dark. The dog barking. Okay. Uh-oh. It says, oh, okay. Excited, serious, but I couldn't even read that. Da, da, da. Okay, this cat is definitely messing with you. It's definitely messing with you. There's no way that do that dog is doing that. Look at that. Ew! A series of excited bark jerks your gaze forward. You see a large dog sprinting towards you. Hey, hurry and throw it back. Oh, uh, sorry. Leave, leave, throw. Wait, throw. I didn't know there was a time limit to that one. Wait. The dog suddenly bounces you. Angry. Furious. It tears your limbs from your body. Huh? Was that real? Was that real? That wasn't real. Maybe you're not feeling so great about being in the parking lot. Maybe you should leave. Huh. We're doing that again, bruh. Huh. We're not letting this cat phase us. I'm throwing that thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not letting that cat make us leave. Shoot. I had to push it real quick. <laughs> Jump in and catch it out of the air. Dot, dot, dot. Impressive. The dog and owner walk up to you. <laughs> Thanks for that. You can pet him if you want. After that, I don't think I will. But I might. So, if we didn't throw it or do a decision real quick, the cat did that. Sh should I? Pet dog, leave, 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 leave. We're gonna pet the dog, fucker. What, you got, you got a problem? 
Really? Are you sure? Dot, dot, dot. I'm warning you. Do not touch that mutt. What you gonna do about it, bitch? Or you will regret it. Alright. Nah. You ain't scaring me. What the fuck you gonna do? We gonna pet the dog. We gonna pet the dog. I'm doing what I wanna do. Not what you want me to do. Sorry, bruh. Reach out your hand. And... And you pet the dog. Dot, dot, dot. Look, the dog's with it. The dog seems pleased. Exactly. That cat fucking us up. You don't feel well, though. Suddenly. What? The sky begins to darken rapidly. Alright, this bitch really trying. You look up along all the pet owners see that the sun has been eclipsed by the moon in the blink of her eye. You vaguely remember that you, you should never look directly at an eclipse. Is that true? But for some reason, you don't look away. Well, okay. What the freak? A loud piercing yowl fills the air, shaking the ground beneath you. You instinctively move to lift your hands in order to shield your ears, but you can't. What the heck? But the hand that been cautiously pressed upon the dog's head comes away with some resistance. Resistance like some sticky slime almost cementing your hand to the dog's head. Oh, this is what he wanted to do. This is what he was going to do. The slime stretches within your movement. What do you like? What? The dog's head scratch stretches with it too as the canine begins to just melt. Why? It melts and melts. <sighs> Thank you. Until it becomes a pile of goo at your feet. This cat is vicious. Ah! You daisy look around for the dog's owner, only to find an empty pile of familiar clothes where they once stood. Oh, so they're killing everybody. You see similar piles of clothes next to piles of goo scattered or across the park's open field. All the dogs, all their owners, are done. The melted goo of the dog right in front of you starts to move with a shudder. Move where? Oh, they're all moving together, aren't they? Oh, this motherfucker. It slithered across the grass toward the field in the center of the park. All the other piles of goo flowing after it. What are they gonna make? What are they going to make? What the heck is that? They mix and meld together into a single entity that shifts and un undulates and bulges and grows. Dot dot. You watch in day's horror and then it fills out and shapes itself into what? Is that a dog? Oh, or is that a cat? Into the behemoth of a dog. Snarling and fro frolic and at the mouth. Eyes, red eyes, frantic and searching. Dot, dot, dot. Before the glowing orbs land directly on you. Oh, we're dead. You know we're dead. The rumbling growl it emits is so low and deep, you can feel the sound of it crash onto you. Leave the park? We, do we have a fucking choice now? Like, I don't think we do. We really don't. That's the only option. No. You had your chance. Better start running. Oh, really? Now we're now we gotta run. You try to run, but but you're not fast enough. The behemoth barely takes a few leaps before it al it's already towering over you. Yep. Bye bye world. Goodbye world. Uh huh. Yep. Just keep scratching to me. Yeah, because I like pain. I love this shit. We're dead. It tears you apart until there's nothing left. This damn fucking cat. Ending 21. Dog person. I can't. I, I really can't with you. Alright, this is the last one I'm going to do for this video. Because I've already been recording for an hour and like 55 minutes. We're going to take the cat home. We're going to do one of these. Just to see. Because we've been doing all the do not take the cat home ones. We're going to take the cat home for once for the last one.
we're gonna do it. Yeah, you look so happy. No, you don't actually. Why are you not happy? Well, why not? Right? Why are you? Okay, now he's happy. You barely reach out your arm before the cat eagerly leaps into them and climbs up to your shoulders. It busts its head into your temple, nuzzling against it. Alrighty. You're, you're still a bitch. <laughs> you can't help but smile at the cat's enthusiasm. Let's get you out of here, yeah? Yeah, that's what you wanted was to leave with me the whole time. On your way home, you briefly consider getting cat food. Dot, dot, dot. But that would be a waste of time. Still don't know who's talking. Hmm? You shrug at the odd feeling and then move on. Something's wrong. Like, this ain't us. This is not us. You live in a modest apartment. One bedroom, one bathroom. One, you living alone in it. So it feels weird having another living being inside of it ever so long. Even if it is just a cat. After locking the front door and placing the cat onto the floor, you wait for it to walk away and explore the new apartment. Dot, dot, dot. But it simply sits up and looks at you inspecting you. Waiting for something. Might as well do something with this fucking bitch. Like what though? Oh boy. We have already did this, but here's different because we're at the house. Clean it. Let's clean it. Upon giving it the second look, you realize the cat isn't exactly clean. It's been in a box. Not surprising since up until you brought it home, it's been sitting in a dirty old box. In an alley full of scattered garbage. For who knows how long. You heard that cats can keep themselves clean, but maybe this is one of those times that a little human help couldn't hurt. They can't keep themselves sparkly clean, so yeah, they need a bath. You head into the bathroom and set things up, trying to remember how to wash a cat. You don't. I don't think they like this shit. You're definitely no expert, but you think the best way to get a cat, cl cat clean would be... Quickly or carefully? I don't think you'll be able to do it that much carefully, so we're going to try quickly. Cats don't like water, you think. They don't, because every when people have the spray guns, that's what would be making the cats run. So a quick wash would be the way to go, right? We'll see how bad this goes. You decide to do everything at once, filling the tub deep with soapy, bubbly, warm water. A quick dunk here, short scrubbing there, then rinse and dry. The cat won't even know what hit it before everything's over. You open the door and click your tongue, beckoning the cat inside. It quickly scampers in, curious of the newly available sitting. I don't think it's gonna like this. You close the door so it won't be able to run out and make a mess of the apartment. Ste stealing yourself, you roll up your sleeves. Let's go, cat. You lift up the cat and carry it over to the tub. Look at his face. Your plan's already compromised as the cat starts to struggle in your hold. You probably should have held it so it couldn't see the water. Oh, ah. Ow, ow, hey! It scratches at your arms. You knew it wouldn't be happy about the water. But you didn't think it would be this irrit irritated. Still, as mad it would, as it would be with you for a little while, you know this is for the best. Okay, maybe not. It's still scratching. A deep scratch to your bicep startles you. Oh, and you drop it. Making you drop the cat into the tub. Well, that's your fucking fault. You scratching me. That's what you get. <laughs> Shoot. K Kitty. Dot, dot, dot. The cat doesn't reemerge hissing and yelling at you like it thought it would. That bathtub is not that damn deep. That cat would have been up by now. You rush over and dunk your arm between the soapy surface, searching for the cat. What if it bumped its head and blacked out? It would drown. The cat's not in there. But you don't find the cat. How did this bitch get out? Instead... What the hell? You watch the water starts to darken. At first you think it's just dirt from the cat and feel a little vindictive about your decision. But, yeah, I don't think dirt is black. The water darkens further and further. I mean, dirt is 
black, uh, not like this, until it looks like you filled your tub with black ink rather than water. Even the soap bubbles are a trans translucent obsidian now. Th this is something's not right. You think? What gave you that idea? But as soon as you have this thought, uh oh, whoa! Something's something's coming out. You just you felt something tugging you from under the water. Oh, he still has his hands in the water. I didn't know that. You try to pull your way, but your arm won't bulge. Whatever it is, it pulls you closer towards the water. You're going in. You try to use your free hand to release the drain plug. But when you duck your other arm into the water without thinking, and this is what happens. It's grab too. Both hands restrained. You can't get any leverage to force yourself free. Help! Yeah. You, you, you shouldn't have put your other hand in there, bro. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have. You drag your drag into the murky waters of the tub. You're dragged down. And down. And down further still. Much farther than it should be possible for your bathtub. You can't breathe. You think you can't see either, but as you draw your final breath, you think you see what has been pulling you down. The cat? Something resting deep, deep down below. Something waiting. Dot, dot, dot. For you. You mean the cat you dropped down there that somehow... Ending 14, bath hater. Alright, y'all. I'm done with this thing. I've been recording for two hours. Just trying to get some of the, most of these endings out. So, let's just look at our progress. Okay. We've got 15 endings so far. Maybe by the next time we do this, we'll have either all of them or m close to all of them done next time. I want to keep going, but I, it's been two hours. I, I, I can't. We got, we got, but we got a few endings. Like we went from two to fifteen. That's not, that's not bad in two hours, especially how long these, uh, these, this reading be. So that's not bad. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.